I'm Dan B. Pascal, and I was born in 1932 in Henry County, Cottage Grove. Same bed and same room that my mother was born in. Dan Brown Pascal was one of two children born to Alton and Gussie Pascal. His ancestors settled in the Cottage Grove community in 1827, and they farmed here ever since. That's all we ever did was farm. I guess my dad was a horse trader, and so I always had a horse to ride. We always had plenty to eat, even back in the early 30s, but uh, it was because we grew it, we didn't have much money. I was very fortunate that I had a good, good mother and daddy, and I was born in a good community, and I have a good family now, so I was, I've been well blessed. Mr. Pascal attended all 12 grades of school at Cottage Grove and graduated in 1950. He attended one semester at Purdue University, but came back home to farm with his father. He served three years in the Army, two of those as part of the Army Security Agency in Hawaii. He returned to the farm in Henry County, and that's when he reconnected with the former Betty Calicut. Well, we had known one another, but we never had been much compatible. <laughs> but I guess as we got older, uh, we sort of changed our priorities and our viewpoints. And when we went together that time, we pretty well hit it off. The Pascals were married in August of 1955 and have just celebrated 60 years together. They adopted their two children and today the entire family, including five grandchildren and two great-grandchildren, live within a five-mile radius of the farm. And church has always been important. Mr. Pascal has been an active member for many years at Cottage Grove United Methodist. I've gone to Methodist Church all my life. Taught Sunday school, was church school superintendent. Did all those things that everybody does, I guess. It's just a small church, maybe. We, if we have 20, we have a good crowd. <laughs> In the Bible, God told Adam and Eve to tend his garden. Well, I think he was telling all of us to try to make the world a little better place to live. And that's been my objective. And without a doubt, Mr. Pascal's service to his community has been incredible. He served on the co-op board, the Farmers Home Administration, president of the PTA, band boosters, the school board, the ASC committee, the state soil conservation committee, the Rotary Club, the only farmer to serve as president of the Chamber of Commerce, two terms on the county commission, 25 years on the county budget committee, and of course, he's been an outstanding member and leader of the Henry County Farm Bureau, serving on the board for over 30 years, including two terms as president. Farm Bureau has a, has a definite purpose. And, uh, the world would be different if we didn't have that lobbying power. So I think it's, uh, it's a very good organization and has multiple purposes. Uh, the insurance is only a small part of it. And I wouldn't say that uh, any part of it is the part, but it's uh, just, it, I think it's a good organization as a whole. Mrs. Pascal has served numerous years with the Farm Bureau women, including many as county chairman. Mr. Pascal served in many leadership roles in Farm Bureau at the state level and has been instrumental in developing policy that guides the organization today. And his years of commitment and dedication to his community and Farm Bureau have earned him Farm Bureau's highest honor, the Distinguished Service Award. I think it puts me in a sort of an elite sorority or fraternity, whichever one you want to call it. It's, uh, The people that I've seen that got this award were, I consider, exceptional people. And uh, 
I hope I deserve it. I don't. Uh, I have, like I said a while ago, I have tried to make the world I live in a little better place for everybody. And I hope I've accomplished that. It's a real privilege for me to present this award to a man that's uh, devoted to the farm, his family, and he's got a, a big group of his family here with him this morning, and Farm Bureau. Uh, just want to say thank you, Dan, congratulations. I really appreciate this award, but I want to tell you, I'm really not to blame for it. I was blessed to be born in a good community of good parents and fortunate enough to get a good wife and raise some good children and grandchildren. But I thank everybody. It makes you sort of feel humbled. Stand up here. <laughs> 